Hello everyone. Um, as you can see, we're going to play some Diablo 3. I'm going to put my phone on silent for the time being. Oh wait, actually, whoa, 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 that was okay. Um, oh, that's really good. <laughs> that was the mobile Twitch app to say I'm live on Twitch and now I can tweak things. So I'm just going to check that actually. Um, okay, yeah, it says I've got my channel set. I'm just going to hit save just to check it. Alright. And then, oh wow, I can monitor the stats now. This is the first time I've um, done a broadcast <coughs> where I can actually see live stats and I can actually type in the chat from the mobile device. Let's just test this. Uh, let's go. Wow, and that's really fast too. Wow, okay. <laughs> This is actually really good. Um, awesome, awesome. So what I'm going to be doing, it is the eve of the end of season 12 of Diablo 3. Now, what that means for the uninitiated is I don't have a lot of time left to complete my last challenge. As you can see, I've got three out of four ticks there at the bottom. If I get that fourth tick, which is my plan in this broadcast, um, I will get the Necromancer's avatar set down there, the torso item and the legs. Technically, I already have access to the shoulders and the, the boots, as well as the gloves and helmet. I haven't claimed them yet, though, because I'm going to be leveling up potentially improving my stats and getting better gear as I complete the final challenge. I'll show you what it is. Uh, as you can see, uh, done chapter 1, done chapter 2, 3, we're just 11 out of 12 on chapter 4. Great expectations, reach greater rift level 20 solo. So no friends can help me. Uh, I have enough uh, key uh, rift keystones Provided I don't fail a rift at any point during this broadcast, if I do, we might uh, have to uh, do another broadcast tomorrow. We'll have to see. It would be lovely to get it all done in one though. But if you didn't know what Seasons was, uh, basically, um, it's a way to guarantee uh, that you will get a full six-piece uh, six set of armor for your chosen class. Um, just gonna turn the game down. Um, let's see. And as you can see, there are leaderboards too. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna go straight into it. Greater Rift. Select level. Oh, awesome. I can jump straight to 13, I think. I can! Awesome! Okay, good. good. So, I don't have to do 1 to 13 in this broadcast. I can just go straight from 13 to 20. Uh, lovely. Awesome. Okay. Embrace your power and you will survive. It's gonna be hard to score from today. Uh, so, I need so. essence. So, would that be greater risk? I was explaining what seasons was, I'll get back to that in a minute. Uh, every great array can get 15 minutes to complete it. The way you complete it is that you're still... I must be wait long. ...like, uh, either blue or yellow and They drop orbs that will fill that... My essence is too many. I need to fill the meter to summon the Rift Guardian. Once the Rift Guardian is summoned, uh, I need to fill it before I need the need essence. And then I can look back to the next video. If I fail to do that within 15 minutes, then I have to replay the same list again. Until I can do it in under 15 minutes. So we're looking at under 15 minutes per rift. We're on rift per few minutes already. And we need to reach the 21st rift. Yeah. To, to beat the last one. So I've done everything else in the season. Like I said, uh, the 
season ends tomorrow afternoon. Um, for me in the UK, I believe. Um, tomorrow at 4 p.m. UK time. I could be wrong though. I hope I'm not. <laughs> but I definitely know the season's still running now. Not enough so essence. We're okay at the moment. I need to make sure I'm going the right way. So far, this uh, this I'm doing okay according to the time. So like, it's saying that by now, like, the clock constantly needs to the right. So as long as the purple is in line with or ahead of the the time line. Basically doing okay. I we want to try essence. and get ahead of this time as well. So that we know we don't have to get to um, Given that this is only 13 and 20, and the others are a lot harder. Okay, we're definitely ahead of the time now. We can play the film in this game. Not liking this rift layout though. Like, the only thing that I have told you is not really any other move. Making it kind of the, uh, fine that you can only to the flow. What, what basically allows me to solve the movement faster. So yeah. Like I was saying at the very beginning, those seasons are essentially like they typically last three months. They don't have a set situation like it's predictable. Uh, but the Diablo website will always like to know ahead of time when they're about to end. They just feel like two weeks notice. Uh, so they let you know when they're about to end. And then typically they last about three months. So you, really, you have plenty of time to to, to, to do the, the time that they have. My essence is too low. If you want the 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 set of um, it's kind of silly of me to it to the last minute, but I played a lot of this season with friends, uh, so I and I just kind of rushed them. So we were kind of moving up from the place they wanted. And I said that basically the, the solo for the rift thing would be the last bit that I would do. Uh, because basically I would My benefit from all the gear that I found while playing with them. So I didn't want to do it too soon. Uh, it's still ahead of time, so that's okay. I'm really concerned with how many other things have to be explored. Oh, there it is. There's my house. Some down there. You see that? I need to find the set of stairs that's going to take me down there. We'd love to go through this one. That was a guy who's dead. These are the guys that will help me progress and get into it. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. That loses a dead end, so I'm gonna come back up the stairs as quick as I can, rather than walking all the way to the edge to realize. Um, that is a power up, a shrine, oh well, in greater rifts they call them pylons actually, uh, but it is a pylon that will greatly increase my damage. The, grave the yellow orb will double my damage for 20 seconds, every one of those orbs that I collect, I have another 20 seconds left for that time. And now I've got a minute of seven minutes and I'll try to more. Uh, they drop uh, if you manage to 
um, slay a certain number of um, demons in a row in, in, in the massacres that you see. I'm checking the map to see, okay, so all of these are dead ends. This this is what you don't want to happen in the Greater Rift. You don't want to have to be backtracking because like all this is time's ticking away, tick tock, tick tock, and I'm not slaying anything. This is where the clock really gets to catch up on you. So really, if I'd have had ahead of this, no, no, no. yeah, I'd have missed out on the power pack. The power pack is probably down. I got a bit of a while I was walking back with nothing to kill. And those did go to the next level. Right. You kind of need another level. It's a lot more open. Rifts are completely random, and uh, it's a bit more open, but as you can see, still a lot of narrow walkways. Uh, I don't know whether this is going to be better. Oh, good, good. Like the blue enemy. You know what they mean? So once, once all the blue enemies are in a pack, I will stop. I'm not going to stop this for the Lord. You need to go. Go back. Alright. That goes out all. All must serve the cycle. Oh, I'm really glad that we could jump straight to 13 though. I don't know why that is. Properly game to lap. Thank you for the feedback. So my whole broadcast is a sham. Um, right, I will fix that uh, after this rift. You know what, this level's so much worse than the last one. I was meant to go this way. Oh, look. Lovely open area, loads of it. Why can't it been like this? And yellow Luckily we're gonna get the guardian soon. And this is the world of the last one. The Rift Guardian has come. Health Guardian to us. My essence is too low. Never. You have tried. Awesome. 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 So that's one greater Rift complete. With My name is Ash. And like Auric, I, I once served the ancient Nephilim. 
When the champions of ages past had proven themselves, I would attempt to improve the clarity of one of their gems. If you have a gem of sufficient quality, I can try to do this for you as well, champion. Let's see what we can do. Just out of interest, am I louder now? Or is it the same? I mean, you don't have the monsters making that, so I probably will see them. Um, which isn't going to be any good. Um, let me go... I'm just going to go into the device settings and adjust it. So you can't see this. Uh, adjust microphone level. One, two. One, two. How's that? See, the meter to me says that's too loud but yeah how's how's this james testing one two one two i need to go back one two one two your valor is unsurpassed Okay. Greater of 13. Awesome. D uh, is that a mirror? Is it a mirror? So... Do I have... Somewhere I can put. Uh, I'm gonna take off the armor on this neck item and see if I can get a socket. I don't need a flavor in time. I can't believe I'm about to salvage the yeah. I don't really need those. What I do need is a socket. Come on, Mary. Give me one. We'll just keep playing and get more. <coughs> Greater Rift 14. I wish you luck, hero. So for those that didn't know what the heck I was doing there, I went to Miriam the Mystic. With her, you can, uh, I need to turn my game down eventually, so hopefully the mic will be alright. Let me know if the mic is made it, right, if I need to turn it up more. Not enough essence. I must wait longer. Oh god, trying to turn down the volume of the game though, while playing. <laughs> Very risky. Especially when I'm on a timer. There could potentially be a lot of dead ends on this layout too. So. Oh good, I'm glad we got these ones. Oh, they're frozen. You know what would have been worse? Being closed right as they were dying and being right next to them. So, they, yeah, they would have just shot me. Oh, 
turn the game volume down. Yeah, okay. 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 The night embraces you. Okay. I'm hoping. Does this actually pause? Well, if, if not, we need to be quick. I'll put it half. How's that? Is that better? I should talk a lot so that you can compare. It should be better, I mean it's half as much volume, so... Oh god, unless it didn't say that. Let me just check if it, if it saved it. No, I don't want to invite friends. Sorry. Yeah, it saved it. So yeah, let me know on the volume now. If it doesn't work, we'll put it to 20%. Oh. Mic up a bit again. Well, no, I want to get it right, so... Sound... We'll go 30 on that, and then I'll bring up my mic. One, two. Mic's gone up two notches. I can't believe I did that without pausing. Um, okay, how about that now? Because I want to have it right for when I... Um, you know, when I broadcast again. A lot of it's personal preference though, like, I bet, like, if there were other viewers, some people come in and be like, can't hear the game at all, but yeah. Now, if that's a lot better, that's great, and you know, I'm, I'm gonna watch this back. And I'll, I'll, I can obviously compare the beginning of the broadcast to 23 minutes in. I'll remember that. I'll remember to skip forward to that when I watch back on the archives, uh, which will probably end up on my YouTube. Um, usually do. Uh, and then, yeah, based on that, I will, um, yeah. Uh, know what to do for next time. Yeah, it's it's sounding it's sounding good in my in my uh, as well. I I don't have it very loud in my headset at all. P pardon me. Um. Oh, we got loads of time. We got loads of time. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, <laughs> Thanks, James. Thank you very much. I'm glad you enjoyed this. We like I mean, I I mentioned that I was playing seasons with friends earlier in the stream. Uh, I think it's kind of fine to reveal. Uh, that you were one of them, and uh, you never know, folks, um, viewers at large. When the season begins, when season 13 begins on February the 23rd after 4 p.m., so basically, we may as well just say February the 24th, uh, but when the season begins, you might see me and our good friend James here. Uh, teaming up on a broadcast, uh, you know, we won't, we're not going to be in the same place, it's just going to be me in my house and he'll be elsewhere, but um, we'll be in the same 
in-game party and uh, you never know we might all share our voices that would be fun um, but yes I was talking to uh, other people James not gonna name names here but um, you'll know who I mean talking to other people just earlier today uh, double checking and asking whether they did want to join us for 13 and they uh, season 13 and they are indeed up for it so it's looking like uh, it's going to be a full uh, full party of four necromancers right from the off of season 13 it's going to be a fun time and like I say I suppose I shouldn't make an absolute 100% promise on w whether we'll all stream it um, for the folks watching the YouTube archive or whatever but if we decide to you'll know if we did because you'll see the footage on my channel <laughs> um, yeah. I really like this game though and I, I, I knew I was going to stream like this last part of seasons right uh, right at the end because this really is the hardest part of getting the full six piece set of armor for whatever your chosen class is so I thought wouldn't it be fun to stream some solo greater rifts uh... Wow, so the Guardian is... He's like, I'm here, but now you got to come find me. Oh, it's the spider. Lovely. That's fine, though. Easy peasy. Give me a real challenge. So, a lot quicker than the easier rift, the previous one. Probably because of less yapping in comparison. Uh, kick out the gems, I love that. Okay, 80% to upgrade it again. What's this one do? Ooh. That one's pretty good, but no, we're going to we're going to keep doing this one. 70%. Come on. Thank you. So, as you can see, when a gem reaches rank 25, that's when it gets its other power. So, we're going to stick with leveling Bane of the Powerful. Uh I don't need those and I don't need those. So yeah, just next rift basically. These should start going a lot quicker because I'm yeah I'm gonna do less dilly dallying, less dilly dallying. Uh, and there we go, Paragon 75. Lots of points to spend that I didn't bother to do earlier. Right, uh, it gives people a quick look at an, an insanely quick look at what I'm doing. Life per hit, resist all, critical hit damage, and intelligence, which is the necromancers stat that will multiply his damage so yeah uh, every class uh, does something a bit different uh, next rift I, I, I didn't need any of that stuff uh, we are now on 16 of 20 this could actually be a short stream um, it's really weird that it let me start from 13 I'm wondering is that normal why? Why? I'm not. I mean, I'm not complaining, but I thought I was gonna have to go from one to twenty. Seems that's not the case. Uh, Thirteen, by the way, is equivalent to playing on Torment Two difficulty. Uh, I played, even though me and my folks, we started season twelve quite late. Um, we did manage to get pretty much all of the challenges done that we could do as a group done within about three or four days so you don't actually need a lot of time to go through the first four chapters thing is though there's a, we were only able to do that for one character class and ideally wouldn't it be cool to collect all of the six piece armor sets for any given season for every single one of us taking part for all um Oh, let me count how many classes, seven classes in the game, that'd be awesome. So we all get every item that we possibly could, that could take some doing. That could easily take um, a month and a half, like half of the season, just doing that for all of us. Um, but I'm up for it. 
we're going to be there on, on, on season 13 from the first day. It's the plan, so we should have plenty of time to get, a, to get every reward for every person involved. Um, that's, uh, well, every chapter 4 re reward for every person involved. There's also loads of other challenges after chapter 4 with special names, right the way up from Slayer to Guardian, that are a lot harder, but to be honest, all you really get for that, as far as I can tell, is a better portrait for your um, profile on Diablo, so nothing I really care about. We're going to get a cool looking portrait just by doing what we're doing now, so... The, the Guardian one just has more flames. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah this is going, I mean I don't want to talk too soon, but this is going rather swimmingly at the moment. Um, yeah, I'm really glad, like, these glowing blue enemies and, and the yellow enemies, they, they by far hit the hardest, but, so you do have to be careful when you're fighting them. But again, the reward is how quickly they can fill that meter on the left. So I actually, I want to be, I'm like, let them come. Like, bring, bring them on. G give me, give me, give me more. Give me more. Uh, God, I, I love this game. And actually, um, the, the layout, like the layouts I've got so far, really good on this particular rift, like the the door to the next level's not been far away, there's been good monster density, I mean I can't complain on this one. And hello to whoever has just tuned in. Feel free to say hi in the chat if you wish to. Don't have to. You just can. Um but yeah at this rate we might actually be done a lot sooner than I thought I'd be. Um, and uh, but just to be clear, um, don't worry to whoever just tuned in. We ain't stopping until we've beaten um, Rift 20 and they've gone. <laughs> I probably scared them off by saying we might be done sooner. Well, I could have been talking about just this Rift. So. Either that or they're like, this guy talks too much. Which is true. I do. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, feel free to leave your comments below of like whether you want me want to just hear the gameplay more and me less. Like I need to get the ratio right. I don't I don't broadcast often enough, you see, so I'm thinking well, if it was just gameplay and me not talking like most of my YouTube channel, uh, that would kind of be boring. Um, so even if there is nobody chatting to me in the chat, I like to do a running commentary of my live broadcast. Um, explaining uh, like why I use the skills I do. By the way, hell, although funnily enough, now is probably not a good time for that. Um, and, and so on and so forth. It'll be a very different kind of commentary though, <laughs> if I'm uh, also bringing in the party chat of the four, uh, three other friends that I'll be running season 13 with. Um, or maybe there'll be more than three of them, I mean of course I can only have three at a time, but um, uh, there are a lot more people I know with this game. Uh, I have a lot more than three friends with this game, so I could be playing with a whole bunch of people. We'll have to see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now I've seen some of the streams, James. Um, they're, they're good. I, I like your channel. I like your stuff. And I'm not just saying that because you're here. <laughs> you're better at Call of Duty than I will ever be. Uh. Ah. 
Okay, okay, we're, we're almost done with this rift, which makes me happy. Makes me even happier that this guy's a yellow. You know, rather than it being just a bar... Oh wait, no, you do get a percentage. I was just about to say, it would be nice to actually see a specific percentage. But there it is. <laughs> right on cue. Oh, we get the lightning pylon right, right the at the last. Cool, we're gonna we're gonna zap this guardian. This guardian is gonna be no trouble at all. Watch this. Didn't even get to hit me. Uh, wow. What do they mean? Hold on. Hold on. Um. Uh, items, greater rifts. Uh, okay, reach 15 solo. Reach 15 solo without any set items. Wow, okay, cool. Uh, but that's the one we need. That's the one we need. Uh, reach 15 solo with the full bonuses of one in the four. Wow, I didn't know this was a thing. Okay. So, hold on. Is the avatar mentioned here? Yes, it is. So, that's interesting. So, they're saying if you can reach Greater Rift 15 solo while having the full... Um, the second one from bottom on the right column, I can't say that word, beginning with a T, and I'm not going to. But they're saying if you have the full six-piece set, and you reach greater if 15 solo, you'll actually get another 10 points for the seasonal leaderboard. You can see my score in the bottom left there. But the catch with that is, that's impossible, because I don't have the full six-piece yet. Uh, I have only... The, you know, I haven't claimed them yet, but I only have this Hadrig's Gift and this Hadrig's Gift. There's two items in each. It's a six-piece set, so I'll get the last two items in this thing after, you know, completing Rift 20 solo. So, yeah, and obviously you can't re-complete 1 to 15 wearing that set when you finish 20 in order to get the set like I've probably made a real hash of explaining that with my words and stuff but um you know what I mean right James yeah I think you're still here um <gasps> upgrade failed no oh thank god hey yeah, okay. I need to go back. But yeah, <laughs> funny that like, yeah, it's like complete like Rift 15 with a full set. And, um, but you have to get to 20 before you can even earn that full set. That That's what I mean. Yeah, that's, there you go. I managed to put it in one sentence. Impressive. How can we complete Greater Rift 15 wearing a full set of Necromancer gear? When we can't even collect that necromancer gear until we've beaten Rift 20. <laughs> now, obviously, these challenges are probably still available for non-seasonal characters too, and that would be how, right? We'd earn this the the gear from this season, and then we'd take it into next season wearing it still. You know, if, uh, sorry, no, sorry, no, we wouldn't take it into next season. We would be playing non-seasonal with the full set of gear doing r greater rifts in a non-seasonable fashion getting to 15 would then do the yeah maybe that's what they mean or maybe that challenge i got literally was for the season in which case the only way you'd complete greater rift 15 for the first like when it was at already at an incomplete state the only way you'd do it as if the whole set of armor happened to just drop for you from enemies. 
before you'd completed Rift 15. Which, I mean, what kind of luck do you need to have for that to happen? Either luck or a heck of a lot of blood shots. Because if you have one piece of the set, not sure whether you guys are uh, aware of this, um, you know, people are watching this back. Um, but I suppose another possibility would be you'd have, let's say I had two copies of the Avatar boots. Um, you could use, um, sorry, I said blood shards earlier. You could potentially use Kanai's Feud which you find in the ruins of Seshron to convert like one an item from a set into a different item from the same set so if you had two of the same pair of boots and you wanted to turn one of the pairs of boots into the gloves that belong to that set then you could but it, again it costs a lot of materials and like you know, sure, you can figure out how to get those materials and what you need to do, but potentially it's a lot of playtime. It's a lot of playtime and a lot of effort just to get like 10 points on your score. I don't know whether I can be, be uh, motivated for that. Uh, I like doing my four chapters of challenges. That was a short level. Um, and then that's kind of it for me. Greatly increased damage. Let's go. Let's get ahead of that clock. Well, I'm rift number 18, so potentially there's just this one and then another two to do. I can't believe how quickly it's gone by. I definitely was wise to wait before doing this. Like, to play as much as possible in season with other friends that had taken part getting the best gear and stats that I could and as many Paragon levels as I could before stepping into this world time because I'm on Rift 18 and it still feels like oh god no don't say it and don't say that it's easy mode but it, in a way it does kind of feel like it, 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 it does still feel like easy mode I've probably just doomed this broadcast um, by saying that. So. Yeah. There we go. I'm just saying, things are going pretty well. We're ahead of the timer. We've only got a couple of rifts left. And then I'm gonna, before the broadcast ends, if I do this in a rather timely manner, I'm going to claim my rewards on stream and you guys can see the full, the, the fruits of my labors um, on this character. But, the, you know, this is the Necromancer class, um, which is part of the Diablo 3 Eternal Collection, which is actually Deal of the Week on the PlayStation Store in Europe at the moment. Um, so that's until, uh, let's see, we are on uh, Saturday the 10th at the moment. So until Tuesday night, uh, which will be what? James, help me out here. Tuesday night, what day will it be in February? I, I, I'm too busy to think. But yeah, it's, it's Saturday today. So yeah, for just a few more days. Diablo 3 Eternal Collection is £20, like the full game, including the Necromancer uh, pack. Or if you already own Diablo 3 on the PS4, you can pay £8.50 in the UK um, to just buy the Necromancer class, and therefore uh, you will turn your version of Diablo 3, whether it's disc or digital, into the Eternal Collection, basically, because the only thing that you would have been missing uh, if you didn't have the Eternal uh, Collection version was the Necromancer, so by buying Necromancer separate you will get the everything that they've ever released. Uh, the 13th is Tuesday, okay. So yeah, you have until the 13th of February 2018 
if you want to buy the complete Eternal Collection digitally uh, for £20 on the PlayStation Store or if you're only missing the Necromancer like I said £8.50 and you get the Necromancer and convert your version of Diablo 3 into the Eternal Collection. Um, I think the Necromancer is the most fun class to play. It's certainly the class that I'm going to play every single season, particularly until I know for certain that I've got every single set, like all six pieces of every single set that's even available in the game for the Necromancer. At that point, I might then swap to something else to then make sure that I do the same thing for all six other classes. Um, because it would be nice to own every single set, wouldn't it? I, I think, I think so. Um, that's going to take a heck of a long time though. But as much of this I'm game as, uh, that I've played, I've never played, like, I never really kept that specific goal in mind. The addition of seasons has really made that goal a lot easier because whenever there's a new season, basically they are always changing which of like which set they offer as a prize so in other words the avatar set that i'm collecting this season is guaranteed not to be the prize for next season but for those that missed out on the avatar set um for the necromancer like all my friends that didn't play the necromancer this season uh the avatar set will come back at some point but probably not before they've given away all other se all other sets first. I don't know how they figure it out. I don't know whether there's like some survey on the Diablo forums of like, hey, which set would you like next? <laughs> um, I have no idea. If there's not, I can guarantee there's probably a section where people put their wish list in. Also, how does the Guardian, uh, Rift Guardian appear at 99% rather than 100? Just saying. I thought I was bad with numbers. Oh well, at least, as long as it still counts as completion, Oh, look, I got set braces. I am carrying too much. And I can't pick up those blood shards. Yes. We're going to come back in here to get those blood shards. Ah, oh, man, it would have been nice to get four successful upgrades. Um, yeah, so I'm full on blood shards. That's not a good thing. I really want Kadala to give me a legendary... If you look at what I'm running. I've got, I've got a pretty good weapon there, but my phylactery... Oh, actually, it's an ancient one. I was thinking of my other Necromancer, where the the, uh, the weapon's uh, good on my other Necromancer, my non-seasonal one. But... The the flag tree in its other hand really could use a change. Oh wow, look at all this stuff I got and I didn't even Okay. Oh hey, you know what? You know what? We're gonna I know that that set looked like a weird Oops, hang on, actually that was bad. I know that this looks like a weird thing for me to do. The reason why we're doing it, there, there. Well, there's two reasons. Um, that socket we need uh, because. Wait, where's Kadala? Let, let, one thing at a time. Let's. You know what? I am. I don't need another flat tree, but for this character, but I do for a different one. Okay, 
that, you see, I'm not thinking for this Necromancer, but for the other one, that might be awesome. I have no idea. Give me more. I cannot afford that. Awesome. Uh, now I can pick these up. Yeah. I need to go back. Okay. I've just got rid of everything that wasn't like uh, okay. And now we'll, well do this. Done. Not bad on the timings. It doesn't show your times here, James, which is interesting. Uh, I thought it would have done because I know you've already done this. Um, unless you didn't. <laughs> it's all right. You can, you don't have to be shy. Like you can you can tell me. Me and the rest of the world that sees this can keep it as as our little secret. But no, no, I, I'm I'm pretty sure you did so. And I believe you when you say that. So, uh, oh, yeah. So the reason why, going back to why I put that worst ring on, is that's somewhere where the legendary gem can go. Like that. Now we have the benefit of that gem for the last few rifts. There is method in my madness, and in the meantime, that's going to go on this character, and that's going to go on this character. So now he's led. He's got the legendary bling. Good thought. He thinks it's a good thought, and there we go. Hello to who just tuned in. We're doing greater rifts. We're going to get that final prize, and in fact, this is it. Greater rift twenty, which we now know is harder than torment four difficulty of the game. Wait, have I skipped one? I swear that the last rift I did was 18. Did I complete it so quickly that they're like, you know what, you can go straight to 20. Like, that would be nice. <laughs> what I can tell you is I had 21 greater rift keystones before I started this broadcast. It, it allowed me to go straight into Greater Rift 13. So basically, I can work out now, after this Rift, how many Keystones I actually use. Or, uh, I would be able to watch uh, this broadcast back and count how many Rifts I did. Um, part of me is tempted to keep climbing though, um, and see how far I get. Um, but to be fair, like, I'm not like a, an actual hardcore streamer. Shouldn't have used the word hardcore, because hardcore is a different thing in this game. Um, <laughs> I'm not a streamer. Uh, uh, so, yeah, no, I'll be probably having my dinner soon and doing ordinary, ordinary uh, things. Not saying that, that streamers don't eat, but keep climbing. I, I somehow, somehow I knew you would say that, James. Somehow I knew. Um, I do think... Or even though I've only been streaming and, and, and like an hour, I do think that um, I might I might stop. Maybe maybe get uh, so without streaming, I might uh, deliberately uh, earn more keystones in Nephilim Rift. And then possibly do a stream tomorrow? Hmm. Again, I don't like mentioning it on my broadcast because then like people will look for it on YouTube and find it's not there. So if it's not there, ladies and gentlemen, you know that I didn't stream. And I probably did other things. 
Um, but indeed, when season 13 begins, I do believe it is our intention to do more streaming of that season. And that'll be fun. Stream it tomorrow. Oh, man. I'll see. I don't know. I don't. I don't like to make firm commitments because you know what? Like I, I am one of the. I tried to stream more seriously a number of years back. Kind of when the PS4 was new. You know, with the the functionality being directly built into the system. You know, without needing external capture. Um, I was like, great. Now I can really. You know, take YouTube seriously or Twitch seriously or you know, all that stuff. And, you know, I watch loads of gamers. I really enjoy their content. Now I can join in on that bandwagon. I realized that I, I didn't really... Like, it's not that I'm not enjoying it. I'm enjoying doing this broadcast. But, like, you really do have to be in the mood to do it. And... The only reason why I'm really broadcasting this is because I specifically said to myself that that is something I I genuinely think would be like a, a cool video on my channel. Like, you know, one broadcast where you see me go from what I thought would be 1 to 20, but is actually 13 to 20, um, and just have it be one stream. Similarly, when I played through the game Journey, I knew that was a short game, so I was like, hey, can I do that? Uh, you know, is it so short that I can actually play it from beginning to end for the very first time without ever seeing it before in one sitting? And the answer was an absolute yes, and it was great. And I think that, you know, a stream doesn't have to be crazy long in order for it to be uh, an enjoyable piece of content for... Um, not just myself, but for others that watch it after the fact. So yeah, if this ends up being a short stream, that's alright. I've yapped all the way through it. So there you go. I have not stopped talking at all, which is either going to be, I don't know, interesting? I, I can't imagine it would be, but hey, if it's interesting to you, leave a comment. Um, uh, and uh, or it's going to be really annoying. In in which case, if it's annoying, uh, at least you have the comfort of knowing it'll all be over soon. <laughs> but hey, considering this is my first attempt at Greater Rift 20, I mean, I remember uh, some people saying it was really tough. Because again, I'm not the first person of people I know to do this. Uh, and again, I don't want to talk too soon, but I'm not finding this hard. So, uh, James, I know you have, you've only just bought the Necromancer on PS4. Thanks for that offer we were talking about earlier. Um, you're probably looking at this thinking like, hey, I'm going to really be able to climb with the Necromancer, like, in ways that you weren't able to climb b before. Uh, I, I, I honestly feel like that's the case, man. Uh, I bet you can't wait for next season, and luckily we don't have long to wait either. It's going to be a pleasure to uh, take part in it with you. Oh, you have? Uh, what, have climbed higher? Um, or have bought the Necromancer? I know, but now everyone else does. <laughs> um, it doesn't matter, you don't have to plan so. Um but yeah, um, it's going to be a good time, man. I'm really looking forward to next season. And I'm looking forward to playing it from the start. Because one thing I'm really curious about is how far can we actually go if we play it from the start and if we play it throughout. And I'm not talking about Greater Rift. I'm on about the challenges in general. Could we complete the Guardian challenges? Do we even want to complete the Guardian challenges? Like, we might not want to even touch them once we know what they are. Because that's the thing, the game hides 
the next group of challenges from you, like what they specifically are, uh, until you've completed the, the group beforehand. So you can only see Chapter 2's challenges once you complete Chapter 1, you can only see Chapter 3's after beating Chapter 2's, and only Chapter 4's after seeing, um, beating Chapter 3's, and only the Slayer challenges, because that's where it gets funky after that, after completing Chapter 4. So if you want at the end of the stream, uh, after I claim my prizes, we'll also have a look at the next uh, challenges. Why not? Let's see how bad Slayer is. The night embraces you. you know what? That, because one of these enemies has a uh, wormhole. That's what the purple thing was that grabbed me and teleported me away elsewhere all of a sudden. But he actually teleported, teleported me out of the... Um, poison the poisonous ground. So that monster actually did me a favor there right before I uh, took his life. Thanks, demonic dude. I hope uh, you realize it wasn't anything personal. I'm slaying every demon in here. Um, <laughs> um, deliberately walking through things I should not. Lowering my vitality. Um... Yeah. Let's see if this guardian wants to show up at 99. Oh, he does! There he is. Hey! Just like Grom from the, the story. And his stuff didn't even hurt me. That's what I love about ranged characters. And there we go, folks. Portrait frame rewarded. Let's take a look. Wings rewarded. All the rewards. Let's take a look. Um, we'll grab the Ascended out. Why does it give me this white, white items? By the way, for those not in the know, the white items are like the most basic kind of items. Items. Hey, another, another, um, another challenge done. Okay. Okay. So let's go to town and let's look at our goods. Um, all right. Bought the DLC and I'm stuck at 20 on you with. Oh, so you haven't beaten 20 yet. Like I just have. The entrance would be proud. <laughs> well, take your Templar with you. Because it actually, as you saw just now, technically I wasn't playing the Rift solo. Like, it, I was the only player, but you can take an AI follower with you. And the Templar is the one that can heal you. So, yeah. One sec. Just seeing if anyone is, wants to come in uh, or not. Which they can. But I am almost done. And nope, they didn't. So yeah, I'm going to end the stream shortly uh, and just check if they needed anything. I live with my mum. She's wonderful. Um... So yeah, she probably is wondering, uh, what do we want to do for dinner and when do we want to do it? <laughs> so, anyway, yeah, my prizes, right? My prizes, my prizes. Um, first of all, it was the portrait. So that was for completing, um, season 11. Right, the first one on console. Oh, sorry, it's season 10. Season 10, season 11, season 12. There it is. And then season 13, we don't know until it begins. 
But there, so yeah. So there's only been three seasons on console so far, and I've done the chapter four challenges for all three of them. Um, so technically, the next season is uh, season four for console, but they call it season 13 instead of four because there's actually been 13 seasons on the PC. So there's a, basically a whole bunch of portrait frames that we haven't even seen on, on console. Uh, and I've, there's all my Paragon ones for getting over Paragon 80, so there, yeah. Oh, that's with this character, though. That's with this seasonal character. So my non-seasonal is actually higher than that. Uh, 262, yeah, I play this game too much. Anyway, that was just one of the rewards. I also had... Okay, there's my pets, for anyone wondering. I also had wings. Here they are. Wow, look at those. I'll give you a better look if I can. Yes. Okay, now the, the best bit. We need the gear, right? We need the gear. Let's just... um. Everything's repaired. Let's get my gear. So I deliberately waited. Oh my god, the braces I've got. They're better. But they're about to be replaced. I'm glad I did that though. Because now when I claim my items. If this belt is better. It's not. But if it were to have been. I would have put it on. Because then basically the idea is. When you claim your Hadrig's gifts, and the way I get the last one, I've already claimed chapter 1, sorry, chapter 2 and 3, as you can see there. I have to claim chapter 4, so I press triangle. There it is. They all go in your bag in here. And here they are. The chest armor, the, the pants. Then we go back in again. The shoulders, the boots. Back in again. The helm, the gloves. Stay classy, the full six piece set. But we still need to identify them, so here we go. Please have a socket. Yes! Okay, so far the item is statistically worse, as you can see by all the green arrows on the item that I just took off. My damage is the same though, so yeah. Let's see what else. The fact that it's three sockets and higher damage already makes me happy, because if I were to put in topazes, I can increase the damage even more. To be honest though, diamonds are going in there. But that's great. And now I have two of the set bonuses. Uh, Blood Rush gains effect of every rune. Oh, that basically says that I need to get the Blood Rush skill on my character. Um, while at full life. Okay, so yeah, let's carry on. I'll read the rest of it in a minute. That's good, so I'm going to lose a bit of damage, but gain everything else. That's okay. Lose a bit of damage, gain everything else, that's fine. Now we have the fourth bonus. When at full life, your healing, skill, your healing from skills is added to your maximum life. Okay, so in other words, when I'm at full health, which is most of the time... Uh, and I pick up another health globe. It's going to increase my health bar. The length of my health. Like basically my amount of vitality. The length of my health bar. Will even though it won't appear longer. Basically I'll just. Yeah I'm just going to keep getting more and more health. So this, is, this looks like a set. That will be really good. For like. 
survivability. That's what I'm getting from this thing. It's all about having a ton of vitality, which could be great, because it could mean I could have more of the skills where you sacrifice your health, like, rather than your essence, in order to cast the skill. Um, so that one was higher damage and less... Um, yeah, l l l l you know, less of the other stuff. So let's read the last bonus. Your life spending abilities deal 3,000. Oh my god. Yeah, that's exactly what this set is designed to do. So, wh where is the skill that it talked about? Blood Rush gains the effect of every, every room. Blood Rush. Blood Rush. So, there's my X ability, here's my R2 ability, this is square, that is triangle, this is circle, okay, it's this, and for some reason I still had it on bone armor. This is actually the skill that I prefer it to be, normally. Why did I still have it on bone armor? Um, yeah, I'll just show you the skill I normally like it to be. So, it creates a clone that duplicates my secondary skill for 15 seconds. So I'll show you my secondary skill to put down. But, if you look at the first rune, while active, your curse skills now apply all three curses. So I have the, so basically my circle thing, rather than only getting just frailty, you'll also get leech and decrepify. That's amazing. Um, so that's why I normally like this. But because I have a set that says, hey, if you use blood rush and you pick any of these runes, shed your mortal flesh and reappear 50 yards away. Oh, it's a teleport skill. Interesting. So it's like if you're trapped as the necromancer and you need to like get away or maybe you've got the demons that create walls that fence you in, you could press R1 and Im immediately appear elsewhere. But because of this set of armor, which looks awesome, by the way, look, it's all red. I'll show you a better view in a minute. But I'm going to get every single rune from this, regardless of which rune I pick. Increase your armor by 100% after casting Blood Rush. So basically, be even harder to kill after you've teleported somewhere. Heals 2% of your maximum health for every enemy you pass through. Oh, so actually, you might walk through people. We'll have to try it. Um, leaves your corpse at your original location. So what, is it going to create a copy of me? Because, of course, like, I'm going to get all of these runes. Removes the health cost. Okay, yeah, because it would normally cost 5% health, so it's not going to cost any health. And provides an additional charge, so I can use it twice. But, okay, so what this says, then, with this set of armor, specifically, I can use the ability once for free, and then I can use it again... Um, but it will cost me 10%. And just to make sure that, you know, I will be able to do it twice, we're not going to pick that room. We'll pick the one before it. Let's see if I can still use it twice. Hold on. One. Oh my god, two. There it is. You see it right there. I deliberately do not have... The rune that says I can use it twice activated, right? But because of this set, and I tell you what, I'll prove it by, if I were to put on this, hold on. So what? I, the reason why I did that is I'm removing. I'm, rem I'm getting rid of set bonuses. So, let's have a look. 
Uh, oh, okay. It's because... Okay, so if I removed... I, I have to remove more, basically. If I, so if I removed... These... Uh, unequip L3. So if I removed everything except one... Uh, oops. I mean, pe people probably know what's going to happen. Like, yeah, I, I'm taking too long to do this. Uh, okay, so I'm only wearing one item from the set now, the gloves. And now that's gone to one. Oh, it's still... What? I'm confused. No. Yeah, no, I'm a little confused. <laughs> well, you know what? Don't worry about it. Just enjoy it, use it, like it. And I and I do. And I and I and I do. I particularly like um the fact that I got the helmet with a socket in. Um, yeah. So, yeah, the other skill, like the re the other reason why I was really happy is with my R2 ability, I've got the one that costs l like life. So they are now going to, like, my skeletal mages are now going to do increased damage because of this set of armor. And by the way, like I said, look at it. Look at it. I bet you're wishing that you actually played Necromancer this season because look at it. <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm, I'm really, really happy with this. So... There we go, folks. And uh, as you, oh, we can now look at see uh, chapter five. Cause look, twelve out of twelve, eleven out of eleven. Okay, so yeah, just to give you an idea of how many uh, challenges there are, uh, twenty-two, twenty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-two, thirty-three. So every season, uh, hang on, no, forty-three, right? 43. Every season there's 43 challenges. Complete all 43 because the, the challenges are the same every time the first four chapters. But complete these 30, uh, 43 challenges and then you get like two items here, two items here, two items here. So you'll get a full six piece set. You'll get a portrait frame and also as you saw you'll get like a cosmetic item which this season was wings. But then there's other um, portrait frames that you get by completing, you know, Slayer, then Champion, then Destroyer, then Conqueror, and then Guardian. So as you can see, the portrait gets really fancy. But let's have a look at Slayer. Finish uh, level 70 Nephilim Rift on Torment 5. Uh, level 1 Legendary Gem to uh, level 25. So you'd have to keep doing Greater Rifts for that. Uh, slay the King of the Dead on Torment 1 using the Infernal Machine. You already will have the Infernal Machine, uh, all the parts to create one, um, from Chapter 4 challenges. That's actually what you kill the Key Warden for. Uh, each of the four Key Wardens give you the four keys to create an Infernal Machine. Then you'll use that to fight a boss, which you'll then kill. So one of the bosses is the Merciless Witch. 
um, and then he may or may not drop uh, what what you need uh, unless they've made it guaranteed but I don't think it used to be um, but it looks like they're saying that you have to do that for all the bosses um, obtain a legendary gem okay so I already did that obtain a legendary item by spending blood shards with Kadala that's like you should potentially a really hard challenge like because Kadala you might spend thousands of shards and she still might not give you one so that's luck really more than anything complete any set dungeon while wearing a six piece bonus of a class set so now that I have the full six piece set of this avatar thing somewhere in the game although I don't know for a memory there will be somewhere in the adventure mode. There'll be somewhere where I go in the world where a portal will open just because I'm wearing this armor set. I go in there, I complete that dungeon, and then it will complete this. Because set dungeons, they're like rifts, and they're like greater rifts, but they are different. And again, the portals are all across the five acts. They only appear if you're wearing the right items for the right class. And they're very cool. And James is going to go on YouTube and look up the locations of every set dungeon. And then he's going to grind and get the items and then beat the set dungeon and see what he gets as a prize. And then he's going to let me know because it's not something that I'm going to actually do right now. Um, <laughs> Kills on cool on Torment uh, 7. Kill Grom on Torment 7. Reach Greater Rift 30 solo. You know, with how strong this character is, given that I started the season late, I reckon maybe I'd be able to do that. Look how easy I got to 20. Um, equip Kanai's Cube with Armor, Weapon, and a Ring Legendary Power. Yep. So basically, all you have to do for that one, it's easier than you might think. You need to complete 25 bounties. So there are five acts. Each act has five bounties. Do all 25, and then you'll have enough materials drop from the Herodric caches you get from completing each set of five bounties. You will actually have enough materials to extract the legendary power of one weapon, one armor piece, and one piece of jewelry. I'll just show you that. So Kanai's Cube, uh, if I just show you the map, is on Act 3 in the Ruins of Seshron. So if you don't have the cube, you'll find it somewhere there, right? Where it says, Kill Garan. After you've got it, it appears here in your skills. As you can see, I have the three powers. One legendary, one armor piece in the middle, and the jewelry on the right. You'll extract a legendary power, we're going here, extract legendary power, you pick a legendary item to put in there, um, oh yeah, so it's not going to let me put one in there because I'm missing, I've got the butterfly thing, I've got the red thing, I've got the scroll, so I'm, I'm missing, um, I need to do act 2 bounties and act 4 bounties, and then I can put a legendary item in here. And basically, whatever the red, the orange text is on the item, that can be can become something I can have on my character permanently, because I can pick that power from this list after it's extracted, and then I can basically have the power of that item on me, even if I'm not wearing that item. That's what the extracting legendary power of Kanai's cube does. So that was a thing that you know didn't think I'd be explaining but hey since I was talking about it might as well show it off um, but yeah I'm done that's it um, look at me um, yeah so I am gonna end the stream here just under an hour and a half pretty good sorry about the rambling it's kind of a trademark thing for me sorry that the stream is shorter than the four hours I always say I'm gonna do it at the bottom uh, but hey Maybe I'll do this more because I've actually had a really good time. And uh, I will see you all in uh, Season 13. Bye-bye.
Oh, look at that portrait. Look at it. I got it. Ah, yeah. All right. Till next time. Bye-bye.